Hello and Assalamu Alaikum, my name is Ridwan Islam. Today I am going to demonstrate one of my project, it's called Hotel Management System. The project was developed using PHP. So let's have a look. To see the project, we have to write down localhost HMS, which is the short form of Hotel Management System, then our web page name, which is hc.html. Well, this is the interface of our web page. First, we have a navbar, then we have fully functional slider then we have search portion then we have room section in room section we have multiple rooms like single couple luxury deluxe and then we have lock section and then we have services section then we have stuff section uh, this is me and these are my friends and last but not least we have a small footer section now if we go to the nav bar we will see that we have a multiple option like about blog rooms so if we click on about page we'll get an error it says that you have to log in first if we click on blogs page it says you have to log in first so whatever you do you have to log in first to do the login you have to click on sign up button and then you will see a login section and here is an register part so let's do the register part first so let's put a demo name which is ray and then email which is ray at the rate gmail.com then put a number let's put a demo number 555222 let's put a password 789 and let's do the register thing oops we get an error it says that please match the requested format in our Bangladesh we have a number format which is plus 880 which is our country code then one dash and then we have to put our 10 digit phone number let's put a 10 1 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 okay then if we do the register it says that record inserted successfully so this record was inserted into a database uh, to see the database let's insert localhost and php my admin and our database name is login db and the table and the table name was person and here we can see the inserted data which is ray ray at gmail.com and this is our phone number and the password was 789 so let's do the login in name section we put name and password is 789 okay let's put a wrong password 123 and then remember me login it says uh, error so now let's put our original password which is 789 and then we can see our desired home page so what is the difference now if we click on about page we'll get our about page if we click on blog page we can access our blog page if we click on rooms page we can access our room page suppose a user want to book a room uh, so he browse the room page section and he want to book a couple room so he he or she clicked on view details and it will go to the room page uh, this is the image gallery of that couple rooms and there you can see a button uh, says the transact here so if you click on transact here it will pops up the, our transaction page here you can enter your username let's see our username was ray uh, our account number let's put a demo account number which um, let's put 555 our amount let's put 10,000 uh, and our pin which is 1234 if we click on transact page we get an error that's please match the request requested format we know that uh, the account number have to be eight digit so let's put an eight digit number of 5555 and 2222 two, two, two. if we transact record inserted successfully if we go to the, our database section and if we go to the transact table we'll see that ray is transacted here now this was the whole 
uh, web page uh, perspective of a user if we go to our admin panel let's go to our admin panel admin details we will see uh, two button one is login info and another is transaction info if we click on login info we'll see the user who logged in our web page we can see the ray is logged in our web page uh, if you go to the transaction info we will see that ray transacted here with 10,000 amount of money so this is our whole project if you like our project comment down below if you want the source code uh, I will drop my email in the description box you can email me I will send the source code so that's it um, have a nice day thank you very much